Hi, I'm Dr. Carrie O'Neill from drcarrieoneill.com, where we talk about sex, psychology, and relationships. Nothing off the table. Hey, we had a great question by Reagan, and Reagan wrote in, is daily sex good for health? That is a great question. Bad sex, non-consensual sex, obligation sex, manipulative sex. Any of those kind of sex are bad sex, and I don't think it's ever good for you. Certainly not healthy and not daily. So it really depends on what you're talking about when we're talking about sex. Lots of people want to have sex for procreation. Is that healthy for you every day? Well, it depends. If it's good and it's collaborative and you're having a great time trying to create another little person, then I'm going to say, yes, that is healthy. But sometimes couples who have really gone through their paces of trying to procreate and they can't, they just do the deed because hit it. It's my time, it's my moment, make it happen. Right? Is that really healthy? Again, it depends on you. It's probably not the sex that they would have wanted to have, but they have a mission, consensual, and so they do. So I really wanted to answer your question like this. It, number one, sex depends on what sex means to you. Are you having fun? Is it about pleasure? Is it about, and this is my bias, I think the greatest sex is about connection. I think it's about collaboration. You bring your set of skills and I'll bring mine. And we'll be like two people, two musicians in a jam session, right? What do you have that day or that night? What do I have? How do we want to create our art for that time and space. And some people do that on the daily. Awesome. And so I think it is very healthy. Some people may only be able to create that weekly, maybe only monthly. Bottom line is, if you come to sex for pleasure, in a collaborative way, in a consensual way, I think it is healthy. And I'm gonna give you a few more ideas. I personally think you should be having sex all day long. I know, people have jobs, they have things to do. So let me tell you what I mean by that. Sex, I just gave you some examples. Sex can be about engaging genitals to procreate another life. Fantastic. Sex can be about creating art for pleasure. Awesome. And sex can also be about your life force. And I think sex at its most fundamental element is life force. Our sex, our sexual identity, our engagement in our five senses, sight, sound, smell, touch, and taste, ignites our life force. Um, maybe you had something to drink this morning that was warm and had an aroma and it had a taste that you loved. Just holding that cup of coffee, I'll say, just holding that and engaging your sense of smell, your sense of sight, taste, the warmth. What does it feel like against your cheek? What does the warmth of that mug feel like in your hand? Well, don't look now. Life force, because you're engaging with your own senses. And I'm gonna tell you, in today's world, I don't think people engage enough with their physical body. And a great way to start is in, with your physical senses, sight, sound, touch, taste, and smell. 
So what is sex and is it healthy every day? I think it is healthy every day. I think it's healthy to engage with your body, this beautiful Ferrari that you were born into. Is that sexual? Webster has lots of different definitions, but connecting with your body to create something, create pleasure, that's sex and that's life force. And I think it's healthy every day. Start with who you are and what you've got. Then take your bag of skills and your bag of life energy and connect it with somebody else's. Always consensual. Find your art and find your way. Hey, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe. If you've got a question, write in. We love to hear from you. See you in the next video.